Hi guys, uh, Darren here, back with a new review, one that I'm very, very excited about. Um, today, I'm going to be reviewing bum, 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 Tokyo Treats. Um, uh, this is a monthly subscription box. Um, obviously, as you can imagine, it's from Japan. It's full of Japanese treats. Um, yeah, so it's a Japanese treat box full of Japanese treats and uh, it has a lot of kind of Japanese writing on it here. It says fun and tasty Japanese candy. Um, and then on the side there it's got it's uh, hashtags, hashtag Tokyo Treat um, with the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest and YouTube channels and accounts. And uh, on the back it's just a load of Japanese writing. <coughs> so, uh, let's just crack on here. Now, um, I've already opened up the box. So, uh, I had a little sneak peek inside. I haven't tried anything yet though, so I'm very, very excited. Um, so, we just open up here. And inside... You can see it says uh, open, share, and enjoy. And two little friends sharing the box here. And it says welcome to Tokyo Treat. Now, uh, I'm not going to hold the box up the entire time, so I'll just um, sit it over here on top of this chair. Okay, so the first thing you get in here is uh, it's this little booklet. Um, first thing that you notice about it is because it's from Japan, um, it reads left to right rather than right to left like we do. All right. So you've got your contents in the back page there, or the back page that is, and um, you've got your Tokyo Treat January items, monthly pickup item, event information, greeting from Tokyo Treat, a DIY manual, Japan culture, Tokyo Treat news, must visit, and community. Okay. And uh, in here it basically tells you all the items that you get inside the box. Um, so just to clarify, they'll say uh, three different size boxes. You get a small, regular and premium box. Um, I've been sent the premium box because, um, you know, if you're going to do a review, then you need to go the full hog, you know. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, so I'll not, let you, I'll not read it out. Um, I have already had a look through the book, so I kind of know what I'm getting here. I was, I was too impatient. <laughs> um, there's a Pokemon mini contest here, and uh, some little spiel about the Yokai Watch Omikuji Seal Snack. Um, one of the things you get in the box. Um, a Tokyo T Treats 2015 greeting letter. Um, let's make DIY and um, you get a little DIY kit with the box which is cool so you get to make that yourself um, a little article about Osho Oshogatsu which is New Year's in Japan kind of like our Hogmanay in Scotland they have their own word for it and uh, on the back um, it talks about somewhere called Dotonbore Osaka um, it's known as Japan's Kitchen so it's saying if you ever visit Japan to go there, which is cool. And then on the back page, I've got a community page, which is full of kind of drawings that people have done and uh, photos. So that's cool. And then just a little back page there. All right, so uh, just to crack straight on, um, the first item we have is uh, some Tohaku caramel corn. Um, obviously I can't read the ingredients or anything because it's on Japanese, but uh, I've gathered from the, from the wrapper that it's Ice cream flavour. So let's try this. Ooh. Smell like wafers. And they actually look like um like what's it? Ooh. Oh well nice. Mmm. Not the same texture I was expecting. Not the. They're kind of crispy. They're almost like giant. 
giant rice krispies or something like that, but they're, they're crispy and light and sweet. Mm. Oh, they're delicious. Mm. Oh, I could eat them all day. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's a good chart. So I have to call it caramel, caramel corn. Mm. Okay. okay, so here we've got another bag um, from Tahato. I'm assuming Tahato is a brand in Japan. Um, and all I can get from this is that they're kind of pepper, spicy pepper flavoured um, rings. And a little skitty pepper on the front. Watch for these. bags are very thick in, in these. A lot thicker than the bags in the UK. Oh, right, okay. Ooh, they smell nice. Again, not what I expected. They're like little kind of ringlets or whatever. Like little hula hoops. Except they're uh, not as tall. Hmm. <laughs> they're all hooped together. Oh, they're spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Well, they are actually. <laughs> they're. <coughs> Jesus. <sighs> they're really spicy. Burning in the back of my throat and I've only ate about three. Jesus. Oh, I'm a breathing fire. Oh, I can't eat more than. They've got a nice flavour, but they're. Oh, Jesus. Just drink. Hmm. Oh. Oh. They're nice, but Jesus Christ, how spicy are they? Right, moving on. Um, Alright, so here we've got the uh, the little DIY kit that it was mentioning in the, in the booklet. Um, again, it's all in Japanese, but from what I can gather from the book and from the wrapper, is uh, you basically get some, you, you mix. This stuff in the packet with water, I think. Um, it, it makes like a candy, a gummy candy. And uh, you get a little template tray thing inside it, and then um, you you kind of you put it in the you mix it you mix it in the tray there, and then you put it in the little template there, and just give you them. And then you, you get paint edible paint inside the packet, which you mix into the sweet, and uh, and then you eat it. So it's kind of a cool little thing, you know, for younger kids or whatever, you know, if they want to make their own sweeties. Um, so I'll I'll not do that now, but uh, I'll definitely try that later on um, and maybe document it for you guys. Um, okay, so next um, we've got another, we've got a Pokemon themed item. Um, it's a uh, Pokemon crackers or a wafer of some sort. Um, so we'll crack this open, see how it, see how it tastes. So it's just, um, just like a big chocolate wafer type thing. Um, is that some like chocolate chips kind of that are through it? Because there's those kind of chunks of chocolate. It's not unpleasant, but there's not really much to it. It's quite dry because it's just dry chocolate and dry wafer. But um, I suppose it's good as a little snack. Um, 
was also this little holographic collectible Meowth Pokemon card thing. Um, don't think it's a sticker or anything, it's just a little collectible, so that comes in there. I'm assuming you, you get one in every pack. Okay. Now, next we have something which doesn't give us any indication of what it actually is. Um, I think we need to look in the book for this. It is Fuku Fuku Thai Chocolate. Right. It's fish shaped chocolate. Okay, well, it doesn't feel like chocolate, it feels more like a, another wafer. Away for a so it comes in this little train. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a fish. Um, which can be flipped indefinitely. So its sides are opposite. Um, oh! It's like an arrow. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Mmm. I could love with that. It's actually even more airy or aerated than aerated. Aerated? Than aero. The chocolate just disappears. Mmm. That's nice. I like that. Um, okay. <coughs> okay, so we've got, uh, we've got this thing here, which I think is uh, the, uh, some kind of fortune cookie type thing, I need to check the book again. Yokai Watch Fortune Seal Namaste Curry. In Japan, there is a custom to buy a special paper fortune to predi predict what the new year may bring and receive a fortune blessing at a shrine. These fortunes have been attached to this delightfully savoury curry snack um, from the hit anime series Yokai Watch and the character uh, Gera Gerapo uh, wishing you the best fortunes. Okay. So, it's just one snack then? It's just one of those? Let's, let's see. Yeah, so you get a bag of these and that must be the fortune in there, which I assume is going to be in Japanese, so hold on. Ooh, yeah, these are the, yeah, sort of like cooler hoops, except a corn based version, or a wheat based version or something, I don't know. Mmm. Well, they're quite nice, actually. And let's see where Fortune is and if I can read it. No! Oh, no, it's not. It's another one of those little sticker things. With some Japanese in the back. I don't know if that is the Fortune. Um, or if that's just oh yeah yeah it's a sticker um, so I don't know then there's nothing else in there there's a fortune in the bag is it a fortune? I don't know 
I'm sure it's headers. Unless it just meant like wishing you wishing the person good fortune, I don't know. Not nice anyway. But it seems a bit you know, not very well explained. Anyway. Okay, so next we've got another of these DIY kits. Um this is to make some kind of lollipop. Um there's instructions on the back, so what you what you do is you, you get a little kit in here and you mix the uh, you mix some powder with uh, water and uh, then some flavouring. Um from what I read in the book, um I think you leave it overnight. Um, to like kind of form, and then you dip you dip the little stick in it, um, to make the blue stuff, and then cover it in decorations. So, and then eat it. So again, I won't be doing that today, but uh, I will do it and maybe document it, or maybe do both of them in the same video, um, and just upload it at another time. You know, maybe in the next few days, or whatever. So that'll be cool. Okay, so here we have some more Pokemon stuff. Um, pineapple flavored something. It looks like chewing gum. I should have probably read that. Ooh, colors. Look at the colors. I should have probably read the the book a bit more. Um, okay, so you get these. Ugh, I was too I'm trying to get to. Fancy with them. Um, yeah, okay, so you get these sticks that have different kind of puzzles on them or whatever. Um, for example, um, it's asking you what one Bulbasaur evolves into, whether it's a uh, uh, Ivysaur or can't remember the name of that one, um, the sword one, and the. Uh, you know, anyone, even people who don't watch Pokemon would know the answer to that. Um, and then there's there's one shiny one here which has a picture of uh, Mega Gengar on it. I think that's Mega Gengar. Um, and it's kind of shiny compared to the other ones. You know, it's not not bad looking. Um, and then the other ones here, you got War Turtle, another one about Eevee and Gyarados. So. If, I will save that until last in case it is chewing gum. Because I'll have to spit it out if it is. <laughs> okay, so uh, next up we've got some chocolate balls, um, which look to be chocolate covered peanuts. I think that's what it said in the book. So I'm going to try that. And this little bar down the front, which looks like a chocolate covered peanut as well. Oh, right, okay, I opened it wrong. It's supposed to be a thing like that. Let's see. Yeah. Oh well. So, yeah, it's quite dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. So it's just peanuts covered in a crispy layer covered by chocolate. Mm. Very nice. It says something about an augmented reality toy as well. So you, you get your phone and use um something like Blipper or something like that, and uh, put it over the the packaging and it will make the packaging you know do something, which is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Um, it's not a sweetie. Um, what I've actually got here is a little Pokemon toy. Um, it doesn't. It says Monster Collection, because obviously Pokemon is short for Pocket Monsters, and um, it's made surprisingly by Tommy, but it says Takara Tommy on the top. So I'm assuming that's just the Japanese equivalent of Tommy. Um, and then it's got this uh, fighting type Pokemon, which I cannot for the life of me remember the name of. Um, I, it's, I know it's like a short name, it's like Grop or something something like that, I can't remember. Um, I'm sure somebody will 
correct me in the comments. Um, so yeah, you get that's a little collectible thing. Um, it looks like it comes with a yeah, it comes with like a base as well. Um, <clears throat> so you can display that. So that's cool. Now uh, I have some of these, which is a, another Pokemon themed suite. Um, it's uh, kind of little individual packets of sweets all connected together, and they'll come in different flavors. So you get pineapple, melon, cola, bubblegum, I assume, maybe lemonade, I'm not sure, and a uh, grape. Um, so we'll, we'll try the try the grape ones first. Oh, very strong uh, smell to them. Oh, right, okay, so they're just like little hard candy kind of things. They're more kind of perfumed than anything. And they just kind of disappeared into nothing. That just disappeared. I was expecting more to it than that. Um, it's an unusual flavour, although I'm not used to grape flavoured things. Um, I'm sure that's probably something more that we 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 children, you know, we we ones would like, um, as opposed to adults. But I'm not really sure. Um, I need to try the other flavours at another time and uh, see how we go on with those. Um, but yeah, they're okay. Okay, now um, this is uh, what I've been looking forward to. Um, it's a limited edition Pocky, which um, we do get in the UK, but it's called Mikado. Um, exactly the same, probably made by the same company. <coughs> um, yeah, so let's give these bad boys a go. I'm looking forward to these. Ooh. Because I think they're chocolate covered in like a cocoa powder. And uh, you get two packets of them, there's another packet in there, so we'll just open one. And it's even the packs in itself. It says on the back in English, um, share happiness, pocky. Um, and then I've got a nice kind of package in there. So I'm going to give these a go here. So straight away I can see they're actually thicker than our Mikados. Smells very chocolatey. Mmm. Mmm. So I think it's dark chocolate. Oh. Mm, Pocky are very, very moorish anyway, but oh. Oh. They could be dangerous. Mmm. Mm. They are very, very good. Um. Mm. Oh, I'll definitely be finishing them later. Mm. And I've got two packets here. Okay, so <coughs> the last. Uh, I've got one more, I've got two more things. Um, so first of all, I'm going to try um, these, these uh, Pokemon kind of, I'm assuming it's uh, chewing gum, um, which I did open up, but I'm not sure if the camera actually recorded it, because um, I've just got a new camera and I'm kind of still getting used to how it works. So if it didn't record it, then these, have already been opened out of a packet and they, they look like chewing gum um, with different kind of little Pokemon illustrations um, and if they if they have been opened then just ignore what I just said um, so yeah we'll just uh, we'll try the Gyarados one yeah so it's just kind of a little puzzle thing it's almost like a collectible thing there.
banana or something. Jesus. It's not chewing come anyway. Wow. Okay. So it was right on the banana flavor. But my God. I was like trying to chew a rock. <laughs> so, so tough. Delicious, but it does not need to be that chewy. And it doesn't even stay that chewy. It loses that chewiness as soon as you get through it. So, you know, it's kind of a toss up between being extremely chewy and it just goes soft. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that one. Yeah. Okay, so... <coughs> uh, so the last thing I've got is uh, a drink. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make of this. Um, I read in the, in the little booklet that it's a... Uh, it's sweet sake, um, <coughs> and it says usually sake is alcoholic, um, and as far as I know, it's kind of like Japan's version of vodka, um, but they drink it warm or hot or whatever. Um, it says in the booklet that you can have this warm, um, and it's alco alcohol free, but then it says that it has one percent alcohol content, so it's not really alcohol free. I don't know what to make of that. I really don't. What what is that? What is that flavour? It's really really strange. Um, and I am very very confused about everything. This has made me question life. I can't imagine why you would want to drink it warm either, especially not something like this. It tastes like coconut milk or something like this. <coughs> I, oh, no, I don't like that. Sorry, Japan, but I don't like that. Maybe a proper sake would be nice, but uh, I don't like this. Ah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, that was my uh, Tokyo Treats review. Um, Presentation wise, 10 out of 10, um, or well, 9 out of 10 because nothing's perfect, but you know, that's my highest rating. Um, pretty much everything in it was delicious. Um, I've never, never tried any anything from Japan before, so it was, it was, you know, an eye opener. It was very, very nice. Um, thank you, you guys, for sending it to me. Um, and uh, if you want to have a look at Tokyo Treats, um, to subscribe then the information as usual will be in the description okay um they have um all the major social media outlets so they've got facebook youtube instagram pinterest and twitter i think that's all they have as i saw on the side of the box yep and there uh, it's a hashtag tokyo treats um, but that will all be in the description below. Anyway, um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please let me know. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, whichever, you know. Um, thank you for your support. And uh, as usual, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.